Welcome everyone. This is Cigar Gospel. I'm Chance. And I'm Robert. And today we're going to be reviewing the Las Six Provincias LV by Espinosa Cigars. It's the third in line of a six cigar series about the original six provinces of Cuba. Man, this uh, cigar came in a pretty cool, almost like coffin. Yeah, a little wooden box. Yeah, yeah, this is really, really cool. It's a five and a half by 54. Um, man, this is beautifully crafted. Pull it out and see it. And actually, uh, when we when I picked it up at the at the cigar shop, the display they had it in was really nice. It looked almost like a, it had like a stained glass over the top and then it looked like a door almost. Yeah, I yeah. seen the box there too. The box was, uh, I think, designed by uh, a Cuban artist. Uh, yeah. Gutierrez was his last name. Just looking at the cigar, it's a beautiful box press. Uh, nice bright colors on the band. Uh, almost looks like a church window on top, like a Catholic church window. Yeah. It's got a nice dark Maduro wrapper. It's a Connecticut broadleaf. I personally like to V cut all box press cigars. This move. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. Let's go ahead and give this thing a light and see what it's gonna taste like. No cold draw? No, nah, you can cold draw if you want. Yeah, see, I, I don't really get that much off cold draw. No. Every once in a while, I can pick up a thing or two. It's got but, good airflow, though. Yeah, that's that's the only reason why I cold draw. Yeah, it's got really good airflow. Light it up, light it up, light it up. Ooh. Mm, what you getting? It's got pepper for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, old... I get a little bit of like coca, like very, very dark chocolate almost. Oh man, that's yeah, that's very peppery. It's got great draw though. Wow, the airflow is a lot. The cigar is a Nicaraguan Puro. It was made at the AJ uh, AJ Fernandez AJ Fernandez factory in Nicaragua. Um, he did a collaboration with Eric Espinosa, and uh, if you smoke AJ Fernandez, you can tell that AJ had his hand with this. The initial note I'm getting is almost like a, I guess you would call it a black pepper. Yeah, it's uh, so far right now, it's, this cigar packs a punch. So if you're not a spice guy, I wouldn't recommend picking this up, but if you like the spice and the powerfulness, like, it's gonna hit you right away. It's very strong in the beginning so far, uh, but it's not too bad. I've had other cigars that were over spicy. It's still pretty good. Yeah, definitely a dark cigar though. Any other notes yet, or no? I'm just that pepper is really hitting about my time. throat now. So it's if I start coughing in a minute, you know why? <laughs> it's only a matter of time for you. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll smoke this down. Finish up this uh, this first third. And then uh, come back. Let them know how it was. Day two. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're here with the review on the Las Provenzas. LV. Or Las Six Provenzas. LV. So what are your tasting notes now that we're halfway done with it? What are you getting now? I'm still getting a really strong black pepper throughout. But it's very nice, consistent burn. I haven't had to touch it up at all. Airflow is great. Yeah, the draw and burn on this cigar is phenomenal. I'm still getting a lot of back, uh, black pepper as well. Um, and some dark chocolate still, like I said in the beginning. And I tell you what, if you're wanting a cigar just to punch you in the mouth, this is a cigar for you. It's full bodied. And that's what you expect from AJ and Espinosa collabing together. Um, a good pairing though with this cigar is some cream coffee. With this strong cigar, it makes it blend so well, and it makes a really great experience. Now, the cigar is 22 bucks, but it, you know, it came with a cool coffin and nice presentation. It's a pretty nice experience. I'm not upset about paying 22 bucks. What about you? No, uh, when I went to pick up this cigar, the first thing that really drew my attention was actually the display it was in. A lot of the times, I'm not saying all the time, but I shop with my eyes a lot of the time. So if a cigar looks good or it's presented well, I want to give it a try. And so this cigar is so far not disappointing. No. More history on this cigar. It's for the Las Villas region, which is one of the six provinces of Cuba. 
which was the center of the cattle industry in Cuba in the 18th and 19th century. And I believe it was the main providence for that all the way up until maybe 76, I think it became divided possibly. I'm not too sure on the history of Cuba, but I know Espinoza was trying to celebrate the original six providences of Cuba. It's pretty cool that when you get to smoke a cigar, you get to learn the history and kind of feel that history of what yeah. um, the cigar maker I loves. So, but stay tuned for the final part. All right, welcome back. What's up, guys? So, we're at the final third of the cigar, the last bit. On to the tasting. What you got, Robert? Well, overall, you know, throughout the whole cigar, I've been getting that black pepper. Kind of smoothed out just right towards the middle. Um, I'm not saying it's gone away, but it just kind of smoothed out just a little bit. It's not as spicy. I don't know if it's my throat and my nose getting adjusted to it or what. But it's been burning very good for me. I haven't had to touch it up or anything. Um, the airflow is great on it. Yeah, it's still got a great draw and a pretty good burn. Uh, I've had to touch it up like once or twice towards the last third. But on the tasting, it has smoothened itself out. Once you got a little bit past that midway part, it's still a lot of spice, especially when you retro hell. It is a lot of pepper in there. So, um, I just do light retro hell with this just because the pepper in my nose sometimes can be a little bit too much. But that's just me. I'm not the most spice loving guy. Overall, this is a good quality cigar. On ratings, I would give it a 90. What about you? Um, I, me personally, I'd give it about a 91. I'm not a big spice guy neither. But just the whole overall experience for me gets it to about a 91 for me. Yeah, it was a, it was a great experience on the stronger side. Maybe as time evolves and my palate keeps changing, maybe this would be, you know, even more for me than it is now. Yeah. Who knows? Would this make it in your humidor? No. Uh, wouldn't make it in my humidor. Just, I just wouldn't smoke this on a daily because it's a little out of my range of taste personally. Yeah. But it's still a good cigar. Like if someone bought it for me as a gift, I would enjoy smoking it again. But just me going to my local cigar shop and paying the $22 consecutively i personally wouldn't do it i am curious to try the others from this line though yeah spinoza does a good job with all their cigars really but now i'm more intrigued to try the other two that are already out if i can get them and then the future three that are coming out it's going to be a, a fun experience hopefully we can do a whole series on that that'd be kind of cool yeah that would be we want to thank you for uh staying tuned and watching with us so far um, just want to state that everything that we said today about flavor notes or what our experience is is just our experience and our opinion. So please comment below if you've had a different experience or your own opinion. We'd love to hear. Remember, follow us on all social media platforms. The links will be provided down below. Thank y'all. This is the Cigar Gospel. Thank y'all. Wow, 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 wow,